Compounds. Ionic bonding. What are the properties of an ionic compound? Keywords needed in order to discuss this question include crystal lattice, conductor, insulator, melting point, and boiling point. The first set of properties that are characteristic of ionic compounds fall into the category of physical appearance. In all cases, ionic compounds are hard, brittle solids at room temperature. In addition, they all form crystals with a definite shape. Here you can see a listing of the main descriptions of the crystals formed by ionic substances. These shapes can be used by scientists to determine the identity of the compound. An ionic compound that is a prime example of these properties is halite, shown in the picture to the right of the screen. When found in nature, halite, otherwise known as sodium chloride, is a white solid that appears as cubic crystals. When force is applied, halite shatters into small crystals instead of bending or deforming. All of these properties are characteristic of ionic compounds. If physical appearance is not enough, the electrical conductivity of the substance can also be investigated. When discussing the conductivity of ionic compounds, there are three main conditions to examine. Solid state, molten state, and dissolved state. As a solid, ionic compounds fail to conduct any electricity. In other words, they are good insulators. However, if heat is applied and the solid is allowed to melt, the resulting molten form with its loose ions will conduct electricity very well. In addition, if an ionic compound is dissolved in water, the dissolved ions will also be good conductors of electricity. This is why you don't use the hair dryer in the bathtub. If you still need more information to make a decision as to whether or not the substance is an ionic compound, there are always the melting and boiling points. Here we have two tables. In Table 1, we have a list of the melting and boiling points of some common ionic compounds. In Table 2, we have the same properties for the common molecular compounds. If we compare the melting and boiling points of sodium chloride and water, we see that the melting and boiling points for sodium chloride are much higher than that of water. This is a common feature of ionic compounds. Compared to molecular substances, they require a large amount of energy to melt and boil. In summary, there are three main things to keep in mind. Firstly, ionic compounds are brittle solids with definite crystal shapes. Secondly, they are good insulators in their solid form and good conductors in molten or dissolved states. And finally, they have high melting and boiling points compared to molecular compounds. While individual properties may vary from one ionic compound to another, these general characteristics apply to the majority of ionic compounds and therefore can be useful when trying to determine if something is an ionic compound. Committing these general properties to memory will be helpful to you in lab investigations and higher order test questions.